Getting answers. TV6 investigates. First at six, a $2.4 million settlement has been reached after three people were hit by a car on the I-74 bridge pedestrian path. Good evening, everyone. I'm Marsha Lenz in for Morgan. Now, the driver, 47-year-old Shabria Harris of East Moline, admitted she was drunk on that night in May of 2022 when she missed the on-ramp and drove her car onto the path. But the lawsuit also blamed Bettendorf and Moline over the incident. TV6 Investigates' Matt Christensen has details on the settlements. The three men walking across this narrow pedestrian path had no way to escape the Cadillac Escalade that was bearing down on them. Killed here were Anthony Castaneda, 18, and Ethan Gonzalez, 21. Charles Bowen, then 22, survived. Now, the estates of the men who were killed and Bowen sued Moline and Bettendorf, saying that the cities had rushed to open the pedestrian path without taking safety into account. The settlement will pay Bowen $450,000 from the city of Bettendorf and $30,000 from Moline. Castaneda's estate will get $1.125 million from Bettendorf and $70,000 from Moline, and Gonzalez's estate will get $750,000 from Bettendorf. According to court documents, Bettendorf admits no wrongdoing as part of the lawsuits. Its insurers will cover most of the costs. Bendorf has a $10,000 deductible. Here's a look inside the city council meeting when city leaders discussed the case this week. In this settlement, there is no finding that the city made any errors or did anything wrong. This is... That is correct. This, the city denies liability. This is a compromise settlement of disputed claims. Uh, Harris, the driver, was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Bendorf has erected these barricades at the entrance to the bike path. In Bettendorf, Matt Christensen, TV6 Investigates. Now, we did reach out to the city of Moline today. Its insurance carrier is also paying all but the deductible.